moving uh, gooseberry bush. We planted this in 2012 in that wet summer. Now, because the other part of the allotment is becoming the orchard, I want to move this to the other part. So I, I dug it up with as much as of the root ball as possible. So I can take it to the other part and immediately now plant it. This is the same with this, I have to do with this one. Uh, this is a yellow or green variety, that is the red or brown variety. So they will be transplanted hopefully with as much as the roots possible. That is a good amount of roots actually on that one, as you see. And this is a label, gooseberry red. Gave very good crop last year, so I'm hoping to uh, transplant it in a new place. Maybe somewhere that is suitable for for bushes and fruits, because this place is actually now a vegetable plot. And this was yeah, last year among the potatoes. Beautiful. Some of Beautiful daffodils. And vegetable pot. Our gooseberries are in fruit. I've transplanted it and it was brutally, by mistake, split into three parts. I gave it to a, one part to a friend in the allotment and the other part is here, surviving struggling actually and this one is actually in fruit I have several ones the other side but I have not transplanted those ones this one I will do that next year it looks how many fruits it has Hello. gooseberries are really doing well this year this is the plant I transplanted from uh, my vegetable lot plot uh, my other allotment to this side just 10 meter away I mean between us just just a road that is ours and uh, now look, that's given me on the first year of transplant, uh, this fruit, lots of fruits actually. And this plant was actually damaged during the transplantation because it split into three. Uh, this is the biggest part, a smaller part went to, second biggest part went to my friend Daniel. And uh, the third part is this one, which is, uh, I saw it is swelling on the ground, it's uh, actually rooting. So I just put it uh, in a pot hoping that it will do something. And I just see it has shoots, brown, it's doing well. Uh, what I wanted to say that is that at this stage probably we can eat some of this. I tried them, they taste like what we have. In Keeper's Nursery I've seen it, they have. It's called um, Goja Saps Plum. Goja Saps Plum is, is a plum that you eat it green. Goja means plum. In, is in Persian, Southwest Asia, Iran. And sabz means green, it means green plum. So you eat it green in the spring. So that's the first crop you will have of any other kind of plum. You can leave it that uh, to, to grow a little bit yellower and uh, it gets watery and uh, it loses the taste. When it is green, it's really delicacy. And you, you eat it with pesto, if you have basil pesto or uh, mint pesto, you can eat it with that. That's really lovely. Make a mixture of the, I mean, you ground fresh mint, mix it with salt and uh, if you like a little bit of olive oil or so. And yeah, then you dip this just a little bit, tiny bit, uh, like hummus, how you eat hummus. Just a little bit to put this green bean into that, um, uh, <laughs> go the saps and plum in that, and you eat it. You can use the same with the uh, Gooseberry. This gooseberry exactly tastes like that. The only difference is that the goji saps plum is uh, moist and is juicy. And uh, gooseberry at this stage and also at the later stage is, come, is, is dryish, a little bit tough. But anyway, taste is very similar in that sense when it is green. I'm going to get another one. Mm. Oh, I love that. And I think you can use it as a kind of flavoring in your food. If you make soups and gravy and such things, you need to use lemon. Instead of lemon, use this. 
my mom used the uh, uh, unripe grape for this purpose. The grape berries, when they are not ripe, they are sour. You can use it in the meal. You can even extract the juice of it. The juice of it in, in the Southwest Asia, in Persia, is a, is a kind of delicacy. You should use it in, in food, all kind of stuff. Anyway, and the best grapes I'm telling you this is from there. You, you don't know it until you eat it. The grapes, the European grapes are mostly for wine making. They're tough and they're not really edible in that sense. They're big also, big uh, seeds inside them. Anyway, uh, that's the gooseberry. You can harvest it even now. I'm starting to harvest it, eating gooseberry. You can use it also for pectin if you have anything to make pectin with. If you need uh, with a uh, unripened apple, you can do it, but this is also ready now. This is a variety of the gooseberry that I bought from Keeper's Nursery. And it is thornless, so practically it means you can harvest it without being beaten by thorns. And now, as you see, it is in fruit. In the first year, I gave it some fruit. The name of the variety I've written here is uh, kept a tag here. So the name of it, according to this, is gooseberry captivator, and it is. It was two years when I planted it. So no thorns. Some fruits in the first year, as you see. If you don't know, it's better to know. There are thornless gooseberries, and this is the one that I have grown this year. It gave me a decent crop, and I kept it until now, a few of these fruits, just to show that when, how they look when they, are, when they are ripe. And I'm going to harvest it now, just to show you how it tastes. This is probably the last one that I kept. The fruit looks like this. And I'm now going to taste it. Mmm, quite sweet. Pleasant. Yeah, I like it. It's quite pleasant. I bought this tree, um, from the Keeper's Nursery. Mm. For about three or four pounds or five pounds. Really pleased with it. If you know, Gooseberries are really difficult to harvest. It's really painful. And now with this thornless variety, and I really mean it, it's thornless, you can see it. It's really easy to enjoy the crop. I like it. The, the variety is written here. I can share it with you. Oh, that read captivator thornless gooseberry variety captivator from keepers and gooseberries that didn't have the time to transplant from the old allotment which is no vegetable garden to the orchard and these are the ones actually right now these are the ones I bought from the 19MP shop and the pound vault and look at them it's the second year of them, I think. And they are really doing well. I'm really imp impressed. And they are very sweet. I'm tasting one of these. I'm going now to harvest them anyway. Mmm. The sweetest gooseberry I've ever seen. Gooseberries usually, they're not sweet. These ones are sweet. This is the gooseberry I transplanted this year. They actually split in several pieces, but anyway, it gave me some food, a lot of food actually, we were eating. But at this time, which is the 10th of the July, they're so sweet, I never saw such a 
سویت گوزبری ما لات. دی آردی یام یه سویت بری. گوزبری ابر افسین. آشکال سویت بری برو نه مثلا گوزبری. Do you know someone can't digest gluten? 